Hey guys, Kenneth here and welcome to my movie corner and today I am here to review the movie Thunder Force. Yes, this movie is written and directed by Ben Falcone and it stars his wife Melissa McCarthy, Octavia Spencer and Jason Bateman. And this movie is a superhero comedy exclusive on Netflix. So yeah. I didn't know this movie existed until Net until that 2021 video Netflix did, teasing all of their future projects for 2021. I saw the bit that they shown and I was like, okay, um, doesn't show that much, so I'll keep an open mind. Then I saw the trailer, and I was like, that looks pretty bad. To be honest, I kind of wanted to see how bad this movie was. Like, I've seen some bad Netflix comedies like The Ridiculous Six or Hubie Halloween or even like their shows like Paradise PD or Hoops which were pretty unfunny. So I wanted to know how bad it was. Turns out, pretty bad. Um, yeah, uh, this movie was pretty, pretty bad. Um, I'll give it this. It's not as bad as Hubie Halloween. It's not even as bad as The Ridiculous Six. And it's not the worst movie I've seen this year. It's slightly better than Tom and Jerry. Then again, that's not saying... I'm not giving this movie high praise by saying it's better than those movies. But it's still pretty bad. Um... But before I get into the negatives, I want to give some positives. Yes, I do have some positives. Not a lot, but I have some. The first positive is that it's competently shot and competently edited. Also, there was one moment that actually made me chuckle. That's it. Negatives, uh, where do I start? Um, I think I should start with the characters and the performances. To start with, Melissa McCarthy is annoying. She's insufferable. Octavia Spencer, you could tell she is phoning it in. And this movie relies on these characters' friendship. And neither one of these women have chemistry. Like, their chemistry level is Zero. They have zero chemistry. Not on. Also, Jason Bateman. I love Jason Bateman. I think he can be really funny. Like, watch him in movies like Horrible Bosses and Paul and even Zootopia. He can be funny. He is not funny. You can tell, again, similar to Octavia Spencer, that he was just phoning it in. And there are some scenes with him that are beyond cringy. I will get to those. But yeah, he was awful. Also, you have Bobby Cannavale. He's awful. Like, they tried to make him over the top, but at the same time intimidating. And it just doesn't work. And his character came out at times annoying. And also, Palm Clementif. She was hilarious as Mantis in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Well, she's not meant to be funny in this movie, but she was boring in this movie and I could not, and I could not care less about her character. Also, the action scenes. I know Ben Falcone is not known for being an action director, like I think this is his first action movie. And after seeing this movie, I'm like, please stay away from the action, from action movies because you do not know how to film or choreograph action. Yeah, the action scenes were terribly choreographed and terribly shot. And also, my biggest negative, the comedy. I know comedy is objective. What someone may find funny other may not find funny and if you found this movie hilarious more power to you i am glad you found this movie hilarious me personally i thought the comedy was either too bland or too annoying 
there are some jokes that I thought were the worst. The first joke I'm going to talk about involves Melissa McCarthy and Octavia Spencer about to enter a Lamborghini. They can't enter because, get it, they're fat. Oh, and if you laughed in that joke the first time, they repeat it again, this time trying to exit the Lamborghini. But they can't get exit the Lamborghini because, get it? They are too fat. Isn't that hilarious? <laughs> no, it's not hilarious. There is also a joke that was really gross involving Melissa McCarthy's character eating raw chicken, which I was like... That's disgusting. And two jokes involving Jason Bateman. The first joke was cringy. The second joke was disgusting. The first joke and spoilers involved Melissa McCarthy's character and Jason Bateman's character meeting and she falls for him. Who can blame her? Jason, Jason Bateman is actually pretty pretty handsome. I'm straight, but I, I think he is very handsome, even for 50. But yeah. When they meet, he daydreams of them dancing. Yeah. And it's very, very unfunny. And there is this second joke involving them about to have sex, which I know a lot of you will be, but Kenneth, what is wrong about two middle-aged person people about to have sex? Well, since Jason Bateman's character is part um, crap, makes the whole thing disturbing if you imagine it, which I'm glad this was PG-13 because if they went R and showed it, I would have probably want to gouge my eyes out. Also, speaking of Jason Bateman, his crab legs, he look fucking awful. Like, I've seen more convincing props in Asylum movies. And also, speaking of effects, some of the effects aren't too bad, but the scene where Melissa McCarthy's character tries to throw up. What else can I say? Um, the script is a joke. The directing is messy. What else is there to say about this film? Overall, guys, I don't recommend this movie. It's not the worst movie of 2020. Because Tom and Jerry exists. But, yeah, this movie... It's pretty bad. Um, the comedy sock. Melissa McCarthy and Octavia Spencer didn't have any chemistry and the action was pretty bad. So overall, I am going to give this movie a 2 out of 10. So please guys, skip this movie. Because if this movie does well enough on Netflix, we might get a sequel. Which I'm like, please don't. I hope this doesn't get a sequel. Or I hope the guys at Netflix don't. Don't be like, oh, maybe we can make this a cinematic universe. Please, guys, don't watch this movie. <laughs> so, yeah, those were my thoughts on the movie Thunder Force. Let me know down in the comments. Did you like this movie? Did you hate it, this movie? Or here's a question. What is your favorite Melissa McCarthy movie? Me, personally, I've not seen that many of Melissa McCarthy's movies. The one I want to see is Bridesmaids. I heard that movie is hilarious, but let me know in the comments. As always, you can also follow me on my social media. The links are in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.